good morning students exercise 11.5 second problem the probability that mr q hits a target at any trial is 1 by 4 suppose he tries at the target 10 times find the probability that he hits the target first subdivision exactly 4 times and the second subdivision at least one time okay you see that here first you have to denote the random variable okay see here it is asked find the probability that he hits the target okay so exactly four times at least one time so i have denoted the random variable x denotes number of times mr q hit the target okay so here it is given he tries at the target 10 times. So, n, n we have to take as 10. Okay. If n is equal to 10 means the random variable takes values x equal to 0 up to 10. Because that experiment is repeated 10 times. Hitting the target is 10 times. So, therefore, n is equal to 10. Next, we are going to find, you see the first sentence, the probability that Mr. Q hits a target at any trial is 1 by 4. That means if you are, that is a, it's a first time or 6th uh, trial or 10th trial. The probability, the probability that Mr. Q hits a target. If the person Mr. Q hits the target means the chance is 1 by 4. Okay, in at any trial, okay, so 10th trial or 8th trial, 6th trial or 1st trial, if he, the person hits the target means the possibility is 1 by 4. So, we have to take the probability is given here. So, that's why P is equal to 1 by 4. So, N is there, P is there. If you have this two parameter, we can use for binomial distribution. So, therefore, X follows binomial distribution if it's so binomial distribution means the probability mass function is n c x p power x q power n minus x where x varies from 0 up to etc up to 10 okay because n is equal to 10 so x takes values from 0 to 10 okay so the next one here p is there so for this uh, if you want to substitute here you need q so you know that um, Q is equal to 1 minus P. So, 1 minus 1 by 4 that is equal to 3 by 4. So, you are having N, P and Q that has to be substituted in this formula. So, therefore, P of X is equal to X. N, C, X. What is N? 10. 10 C, X. Your P is 1 by 4 the whole power X and your Q is 3 by 4 the whole power what is it? N is 10. So, here you can write 10 minus X and X varies from 0 X etc up to 10. You see the first subdivision, the probability that he, he hits the target exactly four times. So, the word exactly, so exactly four times means you see it is P of X is equal to four. What is X? The random variable. Number of times, X denotes number of times Mr. Hugh Q hits the target. Uh, uh, exactly 4 times we need. So, therefore, P of X is equal to 4. So, in this probability uh, mass function, in the place of X, you have to substitute 4. So, it is 10 C4, 1 by 4, the whole power 4, and 3 by 4, the whole power N is 10, 10 minus 4. So, 10 minus 4, here the power is 6. Okay. So, we, uh, next we are coming to the second subdivision at least one time you see that this word is important at least one time so you have to use the symbol greater than or equal to one so probability of at least one time so one time two times three times up to ten times will come so probability of x is greater than or equal to one if at least comes you have to use the symbol greater than or equal to here one time means i have written one okay so um, x is greater than or equal to 1 means from 1 learn you have to write up to 10 because x takes values up to 10 instead of writing that the total probability 1 we know so from that you have to subtract p of x less than 1 
okay so here you are having the uh, inequality greater than or equal to 1 here just opposite we have written only less than 1 so p of x less than 1 x less than 1 means 1 number kamiya irukono x appo here x value is what starting from 0 only so therefore p of x is equal to 0 we have to find so it is 1 minus p of x equal to 0 what you have to do you have to go to the probability mass function in the place of x you have to substitute 0 so you will get 10 c 0 1 by 4 the whole power 0 3 by 4 the whole power 10 minus 0 okay 10 c 0 was 1 anything to the power 0 was 1 so you are getting 3 by 4 the whole power 10 so this is the answer for this problem okay coming to the third problem using binomial distribution here they have given clearly using binomial distribution find the mean and the variance of x for the following experiments okay you see the first experiment a fair coin is tossed 100 times and x denotes the number of heads so they have given what about x x denotes the number of heads and it is tossed how many times 10 times so n is equal to 100 so now 100 times so n is equal to 100 and you see that uh, p what is p the probability of getting head okay so in each trial the probability of getting head is 1 by 2 okay so the q is equal to 1 minus p that is 1 minus 1 by 2 that is also 1 by 2 so we have found n p q what is the mean of the binomial distribution it is denoted by the letter mu it is equal to n into p so 100 into 1 by 2 that is equal to 50 variance it is denoted by sigma square that is equal to n p q n p is 50 and your q is 1 by 2 so that is equal to 25 coming to the second subdivision what is this second subdivision a far die is tossed 240 times and x denote the number of times that 4 appeared okay x denotes number of times the 4 appeared okay and how many times a fair die is tossed it is 240 times so n is equal to 240 what is p probability of getting the number 4 in each trial so any trial the probability of getting 4 is 1 by 6 so therefore q is equal to 1 minus p that is 1 minus 1 by 6 that is equal to 5 by 6 mean the formula is np so n is 240 into 1 by 6 that is 40 variance is npq that is in the place of np i have substituted 40 you can separate uh, substitute separately also what is n what is p and what is q here np we have found so i have substituted here 40 q value is what it is 5 by 6 and if you cancel with 2 here it is 20 here in the denominator you are having 3 so therefore 100 divided by 3 okay coming to the fourth problem the probability that a certain kind of component will survive an electrical test is 3 by 4 you see that the probability that a certain kind of component will survive electrical test is 3 by 4 probability is given find the probability that exactly 3 of the 5 components tested survive okay so we have to find the probability exactly 3 of the 5 components tested survive so first we have to denote the random variable let x denotes the number of components survived after testing okay so that does but totally how many components we are taking we have taken five components in the five components la, we have to check exactly three survived so therefore n is equal to five and what is p p what is the number of components survived so here it is uh, how many components survived 3 by 4th components survived. So that probability is given. So P is equal to 3 by 4. So Q is equal to 1 minus P. That is 1 minus 3 by 4. That is equal to 1 by 4. So X follows what distribution? Binomial distribution. So you have to write the probability mass function. So P of X is equal to X. NCX 
p power x q power n minus x where x varies from 0 1 to etc up to n so in your problem your n is 5 your p is 3 by 4 and q is equal to 1 by 4 everything is substituted here okay we're coming to the um, uh, question find the probability that exactly 3 exactly 3 survive 3 components survive so exactly 3 means you have, you have to substitute p of x is equal to 3 ok so in this formula you have to substitute in the place of x as 3 so it is 5 c 3 3 by 4 the whole power 3 1 by 4 the whole power 5 minus 3 so I have written what is 5 minus 3 that is 2 ok 3 cube is 27 and 4 cube is 64 here it is 1 by 4 squared is 16 here so 5 c 3 using ncr is equal to nc n minus r you will have 5 c 2 5 c 2 evaluation is 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 so the 2 and 4 getting cancelled otherwise you see now this 4 and 64 getting cancelled so here you are having 16 okay so here the left out is 5 by 2 here 27 by 16 into 1 by 16 if you multiply 5 27 or 135 and 2 into 16 into 16 is 512 okay so we'll come into problem number 5 a retailer purchases a certain kind of electronic device from a manufacturer the manufacturer indicates that the defective rate of the device is 5 percentage that is the 5 percentage that is it is they are defective devices okay the defective rate the defective rate of the device is 5 percentage that means 100 um, um, what is that 100 device irundadana adala 5 vandu will be defective okay the uh, inspector of the retailer randomly picks 10 times from a shipment okay what is the probability that there will be at least one defective item this word is important one defective item and exactly two defective items okay so first x denotes what number of defective items okay so what is n he the inspector of the retailer randomly picks 10 times or 10 items okay ma'am so n is equal to 10 n is equal to 10 and what is your p p is equal to uh, the rate is 5 percentage so therefore 5 by 100 Upper q is equal to 1 minus p that is 1 minus 5 by 100 that is equal to 9 by 100 so the probability is asked so we are taking the binomial distribution so p of x is equal to x is n c x p power x q power n minus x where x where is from 0 1 to etc up to n now so you have to substitute n p and q so it will become what is it 10 c x 5 by 100 the whole power x into 9 95 by 100 the whole power 10 minus x where x where is from 0 1 to etc up to 10 okay in the first subdivision you see that probability what is the probability that there will be at least one so at least if it comes you have to use the symbol greater than or equal to so one at least one so therefore p of x greater than or equal to one so greater than or equal to 1 means from 1 to 10 we have to find out. So instead of that from the total probability 1 you have to subtract the probability of x less than 1. So x less than 1 means you will have only x is equal to 0. So you have to find the probability of x is equal to 0. So you have to substitute in the formula as x as 0. So it is 10 c 0. 5 by 100 5 by 100 can be written as 0 0.05 the whole power 0 95 by 100 can be written as 0 0.95 the whole power 
10. So it is 10 C naught is 1 and anything to the power 0 is 1. So therefore your answer is 1 minus 0 0.95 the whole power 10. In the second subdivision what is asked? The probability of exactly two defective items. Exactly means you have to write equal to. So P of X is equal to 2. So in the place of X you have to substitute 2. So it is 10 C2, 0 0.05 the whole squared and 0 0.95 the whole power 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay. So we will come to the problem number 6. If the probability that a fluorescent light has a useful life of at least 600 hours is mm. 0.9. Find the probabilities that among 12 such lights, first one, exactly 10 will have a useful life of at least 600 hours. Second subdivision, at least 11 will have a useful life of at least 600 hours. Third subdivision, at least 2 will not will not have a useful life of at least 600 hours. Okay. In the first two subdivisions, exactly 10 will have a useful life. At least 11 will have a useful life. In the third subdivision, at least 2 will not have a useful life. Okay. See now here what is given? The probability. Okay, which word is important? The probability. The probability that a fluorescent light has a useful life of at least 600 hours is 0 0.9. Okay, that is at least 600 hours on the light order life. That is the probability is 0 0.9. Okay, so here first we have to denote the random variable. X denotes the number of lights have a life of at least 600 hours. Number of lights have a useful life of at least 600 hours. Okay, so here we have taken, uh, what is it? N is equal to 12. Okay, so see now. P is equal to the probability is given as 0 0.9. So here we have taken n is equal to 12. So where the 12 has come, find the probabilities that among 12 such lights. So therefore we have taken n is equal to 12. And here the probability is given as 0 0.9. So therefore q is equal to 1 minus p that is 0 0.1. So we are using the binomial distribution. So we have to write the formula on that you have to substitute n n is 12 and p is 0 0.9 and q is 0 0.1 so we have to written the formula if I come to the first subdivision exactly 10 will have a useful life of at least 600 hours okay so exactly 10 lights Okay, so exactly 10 means you have to write probability of x is equal to 10. So in the place of x, you have to substitute 10. So it is 12c 10, 0 0.9 the whole power 10 and 0 0.1 the whole power 12 minus 10, that is 2. And coming to the second subdivision, they have used the word, what is it? At least 11. So at least 11 means you have to use the symbol greater than or equal to 11. So our n is equal to 10, x takes values from 0 to uh, 12. Okay. So therefore here it is greater than or equal to 11 means what are the values will come? P of x is equal to 11 plus P of x is equal to 12. So P of x equal to 11 how to substitute? You go to the formula. On that formula you have to substitute x as 11. So therefore 12 c 11 0 0.9 the whole power 11 0 0.1 the whole power 12 minus 11. In the same way p of x is equal to 12 means so formula in the formula you have to substitute x as 12. So it is 12 c 12 0 0.9 the whole power 12 0 0.1 the whole power 12 minus 12. Okay so here it is 12 c 11 using ncr is equal to nc n minus r so therefore it is 12 c 1 0 0.9 the whole power 11 here 0 0.1 the whole power 12 minus 11 is 1 here 12 c 12 you know that it is 1 here 12 minus 12 is 0 so anything to the power 0 is 1 so the first one here it is 1 here also 1 so the answer is 0 0.9 the whole power 12 okay what is 12 c 1 it is 12 
ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் த ஹோல் பவர் லெவன் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ப்ளஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் த ஹோல் பவர் டுவெல் ஃப்ரம் தீஸ் டூ டேர்ம்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் காமன் வாட் இஸ் தட் டுவெ ஹியர் பிஃபோர் டேக்கிங் த காமன் டேர்ம் ஸோ தே ஹவ் மல்டிப்ளை டுவெல் இன்ட்டு ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் வாட் இஸ் தட் இட் இஸ் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஸோ ஒன் பாயிண்ட் டூ இன்ட்டு ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் த ஹோல் பவர் லெவன் ப்ளஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் த ஹோல் பவர் டுவெல் ஃப்ரம் தீஸ் டூ டேர்ம்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் காமன் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் த ஹோல் பவர் லெவன் இஸ் காமன் இஃப் யூ டேக் இட் அவுட் இட் இஸ் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் டூ ப்ளஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் நைன் இஃப் யூ ஆட் யுவர் ஆன்சர் இஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஸோ திஸ் வில் பி த ஆன்சர் ஃபார் த செகண்ட் சப் டிவிஷன் கம்மிங் டு த தேர்ட் சப் டிவிஷன் யூ சி தேட் at least two at least two will not have a life see that we have taken up to this x also what is it number of lights have a life of have a useful life but here they have denoted they are asking at least two will not have a so therefore first we have to denote the number of light will not have a useful life of at least 600 hours so we denote the random variable x as now number of lights will not have a useful life okay so n is equal to 12 here your probability is what probability that number of lights will not have a useful life so in the starting problem 0.9 is given for the lights will have a useful life of at least 600 hours here it is given as will not have so your q is equal to 0.9 now your p is equal to 1 minus 0.9 okay so that is 0.1 Okay, what is P? P is the probability of success. Success depends on the random variable. You are, now your random variable is what? Number of lights will not have a useful life. Okay, so we have to take your Q is equal to 0.9. Okay, 0.9 means this is 0.9 is nothing but number of lights have a life. Here our success is what? Number of lights will not have a life. So therefore P is equal to 0.1 and Q is equal to 0.9. So the formula has to be substituted. 12CX, 0.1 the whole power X and 0.9 the whole power 12 minus X. Where X square is from 0, 1 to X etc. up to 12. Now you come into the question. Probability of at least 2 will not have a useful life. So your X also. the number of lights will not have a useful life so p of x greater than or equal to 2 why we are using this symbol because of the word at least 2 okay so uh, greater than or equal to 2 means what from 2 to 12 we have to write instead of that we can write 1 minus the total probability is 1 so 1 minus p of x less than 2 so if less than 2 means what are the probabilities will come p of x is equal to 0 plus p of x is equal to 1 so p of x equal to 0 how to find so you go to this uh, formula and substitute x as 0 so what has to come 12 c 0 0.1 the whole power 0 0.9 the whole power 12 minus 0 in the same way p of x is equal to 1 means you go to the formula and substitute x as 1 so you will get these two answer here 12c not is 1 and 0.1 the whole power 0 also 1 so the remaining is 0.9 the whole power 12 here 12c1 is 12 0.1 into 0.9 the whole power 11 so from these two terms okay uh, what is common 0.9 the whole power 11 so if you take it out here it is remaining as 0.9 here you will have 12 into 0.1 if we multiply these two the answer is 1.2 so 0.9 plus 1.2 is 2.1 so this is the answer for the third subdivision okay so we'll come to the problem number 7 the mean and standard deviation of a binomial variate x or respectively 6 and 2 the mean mean and standard deviation of a binomial variate so here binomial distribution is used so mean and the variance uh, not variance standard deviation the mean is equal to 6 and the standard deviation is equal to 2 so mean of the binomial distribution is np so np is equal to 6 
the standard deviation is nothing but square root of variance so the variance is npq here the standard deviation is square root of npq that is equal to 2 so from this uh, if you squaring on both the sides you will get npq is equal to 2 squared that is 4 so in the place of np you have to substitute 6 so 6q is equal to 4 q is equal to 4 by 6 if you divide it by 2 it is 2 by 3 so q we have found we need p so we know the formula p is equal to 1 minus q so that is 1 minus 2 by 3 that is equal to 1 by 3. So P and Q you have found this P value you have to substitute in this result. N P is equal to 6. On that you substitute P as 1 by 3. So N is equal to 18. So N is there, P is there and Q is there. So what is asked? The first subdivision probability mass function. What is the probability mass function for the binomial distribution? N C X p power x q power n minus x x where is from 0 1 2 etc up to n so on that you have to substitute n as 18 and your p as 1 by 3 and your q as 2 by 3 so this is the probability mass function okay next what is asked p of x is equal to 3 so on this uh, formula you have to substitute x as 3 so it, it is 18 c 3 1 by 3 the whole cube 2 by 3 the whole power 18 minus 3 that is your 18 c 3 1 by 3 the whole cube 2 by 3 the whole power 15 at the second one p of x greater than or equal to 2 p of x greater than or equal to 2 starting from 2 you have to up to 18 you have to find out instead of that you can write 1 minus p of here greater than or equal to 2 is there so opposite inequality you have to write so p of x less than 2 x less than 2 means what are the values will come 0 and 1 so probability of x equal to 0 and probability of x is equal to 1 how to find the probability of x equal to 0 go to the formula and in the place of x as 0 so you will get this answer how to find probability of x is equal to 1 you go to the probability mass function the formula on that you have to substitute x as 1 so it, you will get 18 c 1 1 by 3 the whole power 1 2 by 3 the whole power 18 minus 1 so 18 c naught you see now here here in the first one first term 18 c naught is 1 1 by 3 the whole power 0 also 1 so the remaining is 2 by 3 the whole power 18 here 18 c 1 is 18 1 by 3 the whole power 1 is 1 by 3 2 by 3 the whole power 17 so from these two terms what is common 2 by 3 the whole power 17 is common upper what is remaining here 2 by 3 plus this 2 by 3 the whole power 17 is common so here it is 18 into 1 by 3 that is 18 by 3 so if you take lcm 18 plus 2 is 20 by 3 so this will be the answer coming to the problem number 8 if x follows binomial distribution with the parameter n and p so x is in the, x follows the binomial distribution such that 4 into p of x is equal to 4 is equal to p of x is equal to 2 and n is equal to 6 find the distribution mean and the standard deviation of x you consider 4 into p of x equal to 4 is equal to p of x is equal to 2 so x follows binomial distribution means you have to use the probability mass function what the probability mass function will come n c x p power x q power n minus x where x square is from 0 1 to x at up to n okay here what is n is given in this problem n is equal to 6 so you will get 6 c x p power x q power what is that 6 minus x here what is given p of x is equal to 4 4 is there p of x is equal to 4 so on this you have to substitute x as 4 so say 4 6 c 4 p power 4 and q power 6 minus 4 what is 6 minus 4 that is 2 so i have written directly here 6 c 4 p power 4 q squared that is equal to p of x equal to 2 that means in this formula you have to substitute x as 2 so what has to come 6 c 2 this is your p of 
x is equal to 4. Next, what is asked? P of x is equal to 2. So, therefore, it is 6c2 p squared q power 6 minus 2. Okay. So, here p squared q power 4. See, 6c4 using the formula ncr is equal to ncn minus r. If you use it, 6c4 is nothing but 6c2. p power 4 q squared is equal to 6c2 p squared q power 4. So, 6c2, 6c2 getting cancelled. P squared on both the sides getting cancelled and Q squared also getting cancelled. So, here in the left side you will have 4 P squared. Here you will have Q squared. So, therefore, the left side 4, uh, 4 P squared is equal to Q squared. So, Q can be written as 1 minus P. So, 1 minus P the whole squared. If you expand A minus B the whole squared, it is A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. Arrange this um, uh, P squared, bring it to the left side, minus P squared. 4P squared minus P squared is 3P squared. Bring this minus 2P to the next side, it is plus 2P. And bring this 1 to the left side, it is minus 1. So, it's a quadratic equation. If you simplify, the product should be, the product of the two numbers is minus 3 and the addition is 2. So, you will have 3 and minus 1. The coefficient is 3. If you divide by it, it is 1 and minus 1 by 3. So, therefore, it is written as p plus 1 and 3p minus 1 is equal to 0. p is equal to minus 1. p is the probability. Probability is non-negative. So, therefore, it is not possible. So, next one, 3p minus 1 is equal to 0. So, p is equal to 1 by 3. After finding p is equal to 1 by 3, q is equal to 1 minus p. That is 1 minus 1 by 3. That is equal to 2 by 3. So, we have found what is n, what is p and what is q. So, you have what is first uh, the question is probability mass function. So, n c x, p power x, q power n minus x. On that you have to substitute n as 6, p as 1 by 3 and q as 2 by 3. Next one mean. Mean of the binomial distribution is what? It is what is that? It is NP. Okay. So, what is asked? The second subdivision. See, the distribution we have found. The second one is mean and the standard deviation. So, see now, what is your mean? Mean is equal to NP. Your N is what in this problem? Your N is 6. So, therefore, 6 into. What is your P? P is equal to 1 by 3. So, 6 into 1 by 3 that is equal to 2. Okay. And the next one is, um, what is that? Standard deviation. What is asked? Standard deviation. What is standard deviation? It is nothing but square root of variance. That is NPQ. So, it is equal to square root of your NP I have written as 2. And what is your Q? Q is 2 by 3. So, 2 by 3. If you take square root, it is 2, 2 is 4. So, for square root of 4 is 2, 2 by root 3. So, that is the mean and the standard deviation. Coming to the problem number 9, in the binomial distribution. So, the distribution is binomial distribution consisting of 5 independent trials. So, from this 5 independent trials means n is 5. The probability of 1 and 2 successes are 0 0.4096 and 0 0.2048. So, the probability, so P of 1 success, so X is equal to 1 is this one and P of X is equal to 2 is 0 0.2048. So, consider the first one here. So, P of X equal to 1. So, binomial distribution, P of X equal to X formula is what? NCX p power x q power n minus x here in this problem your n is equal to 5 so therefore it is 5 c x what is your x x is 1 p power x so p power 1 q power is n minus x n is 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 so 5 c 1 is 5 p power 1 is p q power 4 is equal to 0 0.4096 and the next one what is here P of x is equal to 2. The same result like x has 2. So, it is 5c2, p squared, q 
cube power what is it n minus x n is 5 and your x is 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 this answer so 5c2 you can evaluate how it will be 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 if you cancel 2 and 4 you will get here 10 5 2s so or 10 10 p squared q cube is equal to this so you are going to divide the first by second okay and the 5 and the 10 if you cancel here you will have 2 and p and p square so the denominator you will have p and q power 4 and q cube if you cancel the numerator you will have q so if you cancel with this term you will get 2 so if you multiply 0 0.2048 into 2 you will get the numerator answer so therefore q is equal to 4p q how we can write it is 1 minus p so the minus p when you take it to the next side it is plus p so 4p plus p is 5p 5p is equal to 1 so p is equal to 1 by 5 you know that q what is q q is equal to here it is given 4p so 4 into 1 by 5 that is equal to 4 by 5 otherwise you can use the formula 1 minus p 1 minus 1 by 5 is 4 by 5 so in this problem what is asked mean and the variance what is mean mean is equal to n p n is 5 and p we have found is 1 by 5 so 5 into 1 by 5 is 1 variance what is variance n p q so n p q n p is 1 your q is 4 by 5 so the answer is 4 by 5 thank you students